I'm a champion I'm a killer, I'm a savage Been that way since the beginning Me and Twizzy really spit us Why the hell is y'all pretending? We just youngins on the loose Ain't no need for apprehending And we never second guessed it Cause we always had a vision I'm a beast, I'm a dog Tell me what's the plan of action When I tell you that I want it Pull them out like Janet Jackson Put your name on the block but you know I'm still a captain when the liquor's in my system, baby. Anything can happen. Got the west side of this bitch. Girl, I stress out for this shit. Got that cold blood in my veins like a reptile in this bitch. Gotta make room for my team. Don't get exiled in this bitch. Trying to find Mr. Right and get you left out of this shit. Yeah! I've been trying to find my way back home I've been riding down this road too long Yeah, mama, I'm coming I'ma keep running and running I'm a champion But you know one day I will be And this song is like a movie Get them cameras out and film me That's the real me And I swear to God You know it's all just meant to be I'm going hard, I study games So now I'm about to make history I'm going in on my tour and shit I do this shit, I'm used to this Said pal for pal, I break it down I spit crack and I move to break It's like that, dog, fighting a bit Feel like I'm Tyson, they biting the kid Ducking and weaving, blowing the whistle, they bringing the bell and the bite and the live. Last shot, try to hope. Running now, I'm like Boris Chow. I do it all, cause I feel like it. I dream big, so I wear life, then let's go. I've been trying to find my way back home. I've been riding down this road too long. Yeah, mama, I'm coming. I'ma keep running and running. Big Ben? Yeah. This is crazy. We finally made it. We got Big Ben over there. 
the Ferris wheel right over there, which I think we're gonna ride, but I'm not sure. We got some live music over there. So, and we actually have a nice day. So that's one thing we got really lucky with when we came here, is that the weather has been on our side. You guys probably can't hear me because I don't have my microphone. The music just keeps getting louder. <laughs> we just reached the top of the London Eye. You guys can see, I don't know how high up it actually is, but this thing's moving really slow, but we just hit the top, and it's actually pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright, so now we are on Oxford Street. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping, and of course, the first place we go is Nike. So I just ran into Moises. Hey guys. He, uh, here in London in yep. the Nike, what is it? Uh, Nike Town in on Oxford Street, London. And he just came up and said he watches the channel, so that's crazy. Yeah, no, very inspiring. So cool, man. Thanks for coming up and taking an eye. That's so cool. Awesome, man. So yeah, um... So we're all finished up in Nike. That store was a little too crazy. It was like six stories high, but we did meet some people. It was a pleasure to meet you guys. Thank you for coming to say what's up. And now we are walking down. Do we have a name for the street? <laughs> the cool looking street, that's what it's called. And uh, just looking for something to eat. We don't obviously don't know where to go, but there is a, uh, we asked a couple people for recommendation. They said just in this whole area, there's a ton of places to go. So I'm sure we'll find something good. Wait, Shay, perform. <laughs> when you think about London, this is exactly what you think about. When we were asking people what's it like, they were pretty much relating it to New York City just because of how busy it is, the traffic and everything. But it's just so cool to see like all the old buildings and the telephone booths and the old style taxis. It's seriously awesome. And uh, I didn't really imagine it to be any different, but it's a lot more crowded than I thought it would be. I know New York City's crowded, but this is a Monday afternoon and it's pretty packed. All right, so what are your thoughts on London so far? Is it what you thought or is it completely different? Oh my God. I mean, I, it's, as far as like the way it looks, I totally different, but it's like very, I know it sounds weird because I said it's like not what you'd expect it to be or what I like pictures to be, but it's very like typical, I guess, of like what you like would hear about it. Like it's all the brick roads and all the buildings and the, even like the taxi cabs and like the red buses and the phone booths and everything, it's so cool. I feel such, I feel so touristy because there's like pictures of everything and videos and stuff. But it's like, when am I ever going to be back in London again? I can't not do that. It's pretty funny like when we think about it because we obviously live in New York so when you walk around New York City you see the same stuff people stopping every single minute to take pictures and we're like it's just buildings it's just this it's just that and now we're here doing the same thing and we're getting stares from just about everyone because now we're the tourists so it's actually really cool to uh, to be on the other side of things and um, yeah we're all blown away by this and then you got Russ right here what do you think bro what do you think what do you think, like, is this what you pictured London to be like before we got here, or did you expect it to be like, completely different? Well, I mean, I've been here before, but yeah, like, like whenever <laughs> I was reading Harry Potter books and stuff like that, I was like picturing London, it's kind of what I pictured. Yeah. yeah, I thought I was just gonna get here and just see, like, how it works. Not here. <laughs>
days of dieting. And I think my calorie expenditure is pretty crazy now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask everyone individually without them knowing what they think the macros are on one of those cookies and let's just see if everyone comes up with something similar or if it's completely different. Alright, the cookie from Ben's Cookies, what do you think the macros were on it? The Ben's Cookie yeah. macros were, I'm about to take a guess that one cookie probably. <laughs> 26 fat, about 54 carb, probably like 10 protein. It was really good, worth it. What do you think the macros were on that cookie? The macros were on that cookie? I don't know, it has maybe 20 grams of fat, uh, 20 grams of, uh, 20 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein. <laughs> oh, I, I have no idea. I'm asking uh, everyone. Oh, Christian, like, hold on, Christian, what do you think the macros were on one of those cookies? Yeah, I'm gonna say 18 yeah, yeah. fat. I wish we could have came here. 40 long. carb. Yeah, yeah. This is really cool. Yeah. Six grams sure protein. Yeah. So the macros for the cookie were 49 carb, six protein, and 22 fat. What are you looking for? Dude, we're just being tourists. It's something yeah. cool. <laughs> it's our last night huh. here. Alright, so we just took a cab ride over to Piccadilly Circus. So this is kind of like, I guess you could say the Times Square of London. So a whole bunch of shops, restaurants, buildings. And what's crazy is that you can see how bright it is out right now. And it's 8 p.m. So that's one thing that we noticed about here is that it, uh, it doesn't really get dark until around 9.30 p.m. And then the sun starts coming up at like... 4:30 a.m. So it's really not too much darkness here, but needless to say, it is our last day here. So we're just trying to make the most of it and just having an incredible time here. So we're going to just walk around, take some pictures, and have some fun. So we're home from London. <laughs> Do I look tired? Do I sound tired? It's right about, I don't know if you guys can see that, but 2.30 a.m. sitting in the hotel lobby and uh, I'm doing some work here. Just catching up on a whole bunch of emails now that the Wi-Fi is actually working pretty well. And um, our flight leaves at 8 a.m. but we have to be there a few hours early because there were some issues with customs and uh, we just don't want to run into any trouble. So. With that said, I want to finish up my work, but I do want to come back and say thank you and everything. So after all the flights, the layover, all that, when we get home, I'll pick the camera back up. So I'll talk to you guys when we get back into the States and in New York.